Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we have a, I guess, Vesta tutorial, but I think these have morphed into something more than tutorials now. We have a, a call Vesta demonstration where we are going to cut the one-on-one -on -one surface of a zirconium oxide crystal. Now what makes this crystal very, very, very challenging is that it is a monoclinic lattice. Uh, a monoclinic lattice kind of, you can think of it as a lattice that really wants to be a cubic lattice, but just isn't. Uh, you can see in the C and B uh, dimensions in this plane, there's a 90 degree angle. And also in the A and B dimension, there's a 90 degree angle. But in the A and C dimension, it's actually greater than 90 degrees. It's like something very strange, like it's like a hundred, you know, it's something very unusual. And this gives us a lot of problems. Now there are other unit cells that might have two angles or one angle that's a little more severe than this. Those ones are, are easy because, uh, you know, kind of when the angle's too large, you can you can find periodicity in, in directions. You'll, you'll, you'll see what I mean, but, but, but this, this, this one is very difficult. So what we want to do is we want to cut the one on one surface of this unit cell and uh, make a new unit cell such that that one 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 surface is exposed. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to boundary and we're gonna extend this to be four by four by four. Select apply. Okay. So here's our zirconium oxide unit cell. Also, uh, zirconium is also a pretty unusual element as far as I'm concerned. It's not one that I run into a lot. So it's, I'm pretty happy that we get some exposure here on the channel to it. Uh, also, if you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. I have new series coming out. They're going to code programs in Python, a DFT program. Before we do that, we're going to code a Hartree Fock program. Before we code a Hartree Fock program, we're just going to solve the Schrodinger equation for uh, using NumPy for simple systems like, you know, particle in a box, free particle. Okay, so uh, that, that that's going to be coming in like a month or so. Um, anyways, so now what we do is we go to edit. Oh, so what I'm saying is subscribe to the channel. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to Lattice Planes, uh, New, and we're going to do the one 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 surface. Hit Enter. Okay, now let's just move it so that this one 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 surface is parallel, or sorry, perpendicular to the page. So you can see it's perpendicular to my screen. And then what we're going to do is we're going to rotate the unit cell that it's not like messy in here. See all these, like it's like kind of messy just rotate it to find, okay, just like this. So it looks much more neat, okay? Now, we're gonna move this up a little. Let's see what, like three, okay, three puts us in between. So let's go 3.5, okay. So we have the zirconium atom. Now, in the other videos, what I do is I try to find periodicity in the, in the norm, in, the, in a plane normal. So here I have this one, one, one plane and I basically try to find periodicity in this direction. But because we have this angle in the monoclinic unit cell, uh, and it's just a very slight angle, we're actually not gonna find it in this, in this dimension. It's actually going to occur at an angle. And like you can see here, that the periodicity of this atom is actually this atom here, right? And that's very, it's very tricky to see that. Um, and it's not in this direction. And this is unlike the other videos uh, where I was doing a cubic or hexagonal unit cell and basically you could find it in this direction, but you cannot find it here. So the good news is that we just need to get this plane here. And you can tell that these are the periodic replicas because you can see this similar oxygen branching here and like this sort of, it looks like an sort of the outline of an eye. You can see it here, okay? Like the eye on your face. Anyways. So let's go ahead, this is gonna be one, two zirconium away. So we'll make a new lattice plane. So we're gonna add two here, so it becomes 5.5. Okay, now for the hard part. We know that this is the plane that is that we need to find in our next cut. The problem is I don't, I don't know what this plane is, right? Like what is this plane? So if we wanna find a plane that we don't know, what we do is we're gonna select the atoms in the plane Okay, so you can see it's like this plane, oops, sort of this plane here, right? I want like this cut. I could have done any one, but this one's sort of more exposed. 
And then I'm going to go to new. Let's make it in all blue. And I'm going to go to calculate best plane. Okay, now it doesn't get it perfect. You can see it's it's approximating the plane. So we're just going to round it. So this becomes a one. This becomes a minus one. This becomes a one. Select enter. Perfect. Okay. Now what I want to do is re-square this up. I want to make it be this box here. So you can see the periodicity here. So I'm going to move this over and make this two. Oh, wrong direction. So we were at one. Let's go to zero. Okay. And then we're going to go over one, two. So then we're going to go to zero. This will be minus two. Perfect. Select OK. Okay, so this basically is our is our unit cell here. And you can see it's, it's very tricky because in the other videos, these blue lattice planes were actually uh, up and down. So it was like, it would have been like a square here. But now our new unit cell we're going to cut has this angle. So what I'm going to do is just cut around the planes now. So I'll go ahead and just like chop this off up here. Uh, we'll chop off below. I'm not going to cut perfectly around like I usually do because it's not as clear cut here. So I'm going to do a little, be a little more crude. Um, I can basically like kind of cut these off. Uh, let's just leave everything like this now. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it this way. Okay. I'm going to delete these lattice planes. Okay. And we have to find periodicity in this direction going left and right. And you can see here, if I make everything like parallel to the plane, that you're not going to actually like find it going directly back. So this also will have to be angled. And I can see where it's going to be just by looking at the oxygens. See, it's easier to see if you do it like this. You can see the periodicity just like that. So that means that uh, it looks like I'm going to actually make, I want, my, I want my new unit cell to be in terms of zirconium. So this will be my new zirconium. And this will be the lattice constant. So this will be like a, one of the new faces of the unit cell here. And you know you're on the right track when these sort of uh, differ. So here if I like click on this atom, here I have 0 0.7, 1.9. And if I go up here, 0 0.7, 1.7. So they're differing by, by like 1 or 0 0.5 or minus 1. That's how you know you're on the right track. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up a text file called basischange.txt. And I have set it up like this. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is the the origin. This is some ABC direction. And then what we're going to do is subtract the origin from each ABC direction. And this will be our rotation matrix. So let's go ahead and make this our origin. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy these coordinates. We can place paste them here. Then you go back to Vesta. Now this atom here will be our new A direction. Copy this. Paste it here. This will be our new B direction. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this here. And then this will be our new C direction. So go ahead and paste this here. Now what we need to do is just subtract the origin from each coordinate. So this will be 1.0 minus 1.0, 0, 0. .0. This next one will be 0, 0.0 uh, minus 1.0 again, and 1.0. And then we have 1.0, so C minus O. Uh, this C minus O is 0, 0.0. And then this minus this is, uh, let's see, that will be 1.0. Okay. So save this, go back to Vesta. We're gonna open up our new unit cell, or our old our original unit cell. Edit, edit data, phase, unit cell, transform. Let's make everyone a zero. So we have one minus one zero. Okay, perfect. Zero minus one, one. One zero one. Select OK. Yes. Yes. 
search atoms. Okay, apply. Boom. Now here is our new unit cell. And one of these faces is the 111 face. Okay, so I think it's this A face. So let's go ahead and make this snippet. Okay, and then let's go ahead back to, let's make this a little smaller. Now let's go back to here. So our 111 face was this plane here. So let's go ahead and rotate it like this down on this plane. Okay, so now we're looking at the 111 plane. And what we notice are these sort of features here, okay? Um, and this sort of collection of oxygen. So I just want to pull this up now. Let's see. You can kind of see it. Uh, here, this sort of feature and um, some sort of intermediate stuff here. Um, it might be hard to see due to like some like different rotation in the, uh, in just like orientation, like analyzing it, but I assure you these are the same planes. This might be the best way to see it here. Yeah, it's, it's, this is, this is basically it. Um, so this new unit cell is the 111 plane of our crystal, of our uh, transformed monoclinic crystal. Um, it is difficult to see. This is a this is probably the trickiest system I've done on this channel, if I had to say. Um, but yeah, so uh, what you would then do is if you wanted to make a slab model, you would use this unit cell. And you could just basically use the techniques I use in other videos. I have one where I use a, a PM66 unit cell and I make vacuum there. It's, it's tricky doing the vacuum in this system. Uh, I, I guess, you know what, I'll, I'll go ahead and do it. So I'll go file export data. I'll make this one the 111 face. Oops. Dot VASP, save it. Cartesian coordinates. Let's go ahead and open it now. Okay, so there we go. So this is our 111 face here in uh, this dimension here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna center down on this face, go to edit bonds, delete the bonds. Then I'm gonna delete all the atoms that basically repeat in the directions I don't want. So I don't, I basically don't want it to repeat in the B dimension, or I want, I want the B and C dimension to repeat, so I have to actually destroy periodicity in them. So um, I'm actually going to go back to bonds just for a second. So A is the direction where I want the vacuum, correct? So first thing I'm going to do is I am going to go to edit, edit data unit cell. Let me transform it uh, two by two in the B and C. Apply. Oops, I gotta go back. Go to edit, edit data unit cell, transform two by two, okay, yes, search atoms, okay, apply. So this A dimension will be where we have our vacuum. This is basically our supercell now. And all I have to do is look in one of the directions like C and see where the atoms repeat. And it looks like it's just going to be it looks like none of them actually repeat in this direction. Maybe some oxygen. I'll go back to now edit bonds, delete. And if I'm in this B direction, I don't see anything repeating actually. Um, if I'm in the, oh, the C dimension, sorry. If I'm in the B dimension, I don't think anything is also repeating, so we're actually like basically good here. So now all I need to do is just add the vacuum. So let's go to save this, file, export data, uh, 1x, 2x2, dot VASP, save, Cartesian coordinates, okay. Now here, 
all you basically do now, I just, I didn't realize how simple this would be. You basically just add 15 anchors of vacuum here. Save this, make it open. Yeah, and there you go. So it already was basically done for you. You didn't need to do any extra cutting. Um, yeah, so let's make this on A, looking down at A, there's your surface. Let's make this down on B. Let's put this on B. So yeah, there, there it basically is. There's your, um, let's go to edit bonds. Let's get rid of these bonds. So there is your 111 surface in a slab model for zirconium oxide monoclinic. Um, this has been the trickiest system I think I've worked with on the channel. Um, what makes it tricky is that angle, like I was telling you before. Um, and But what you had to do is basically when you get to the point where you're looking at your 111 phase trying to find periodicity, you have to consider that the new unit cell you're going to create is going to have some angle in it. So um, yeah. I'll see you next time. Take care.